In a previous bubble tutorial video, I talked about the differences between the repeating group element and the table element in bubble.io. And as a quick recap, the repeating group element has been around uh, for coming on, I mean, from at least 2017 when I started using bubble. The table element is much newer and it still feels quite half-baked. Uh, in fact, I'm not even sure if it's marked as uh it's still marked as beta and yet i'm sure it's been out for a couple of years so what do you do if you want a better table element and well i'm just going to show you one example uh because i've used this uh plugin in a few projects um which is the uh, zero code uh data table grid um plugin uh and uh, here's a demo of it so you you would have to build quite a manual workflow process to kind of do these column reorderings it would be possible with the table element uh, what isn't possible with the table element is uh, pagination and yet we've got this out of the box basically i believe that this is a table library that's been imported into bubble um, and you can do loads of things with it uh, out of the box and it works uh, amazingly well uh, here's another example uh, using uh, html and bb code um, so great table plugin this one by zero code i will just point out one thing though which is uh, how does it get data so if you want to understand the plugin the first thing that you always do is you go uh, and look at the um the the dev example that the plugin developer has set up uh, so we can see here that they're doing a search for a data type called table data now if you had a data type called contacts because you're building like a crm clone then this would be do a search for contacts and so then it's inserting in the a unique id and that is important for a workflow action like if you click on a particular row or cell how do you know uh what page like what contact page to send them through to you're using the unique id to do that but uh here's the thing which is that um actually they're, they're actually they're doing something slightly cl uh, clever here which is i believe that they're using a hidden repeating group Effectively, when you're using, uh, this goes the same for Apex Charts, which is another uh, now zero code plugin that I rate if you want to really expand what you can do with charts, uh, is that you have to provide the data in the same order in a number of different places, basically every instance. So this would be every series on the chart um, and for the X and the Y axis. And in this case with table, it's for every column. And um, what would be easy to do, but would be inefficient is if you are effectively doing a search, if you've got six columns, you're doing this do a search for six times now i am aware that bubble has a certain amount of self-optimization but you don't want to leave that up to chance there's no point doing a search six times so in this case they're using a hidden repeating group that's a practice that i know is quite widespread it's not something that i would do necessarily uh but you could also do like a custom state and so that way you're you're doing a search once say on page load populate a custom state with a list of contacts you're doing that search once rather than multiple times uh in the plugin panel but having said that if you just want a really good looking uh table and you want it quick and you want a search in there for example like that you can just see it's really responsive um now maybe they've optimized this of course part of the the, the uh, bottleneck of retrieving data through a bubble app is is bubbles difficulty when dealing with large sets of data i'm talking thousands um is i, I have actually noticed that this can uh perform quite poorly and i believe that that's because it is fetching all of the data to begin with but do try it out yourself if you want a good looking table uh, i'd really recommend this plugin by zero code